Carlene, uh, this weather outside is pretty nice, and I'm saying that because uh, just about 12 hours ago, I <laughs> was in 30 degree weather <laughs> over in Columbus, Ohio. Nobody told you but to leave. <laughs> I know. It, it, was a ni it was nice and refreshing, but I am happy to be back in He's warmer climate. He's brought that climate. cold back to our studio, Carlene. <laughs> oh, that's why it's so cold. He has the AC to be pumped up today. Oh, rude. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of us? Exactly. I'm sorry. But then again, it does help, especially when you have these daytime highs that are into the 80s that we had across the valleys for today. We were at 87 degrees for Valley Center, 84 today, and that was Ramona as well as El Cajon. You had 70s right along the coast, and you had 86 degrees today in Escondido, and that was actually a record. So tied the record in Escondido for today at 86 degrees previously on this day back in 1999. So taking a look at our current temperatures, we have a lot of 50s out there. We're also seeing some 60s popping up west of the mountains. 50s over the mountains, 50s right along the coast, 60 degrees currently for Poway, 62 for Chula Vista. That's the same current temperature for Escondido and at 69 degrees for the desert. So we are seeing reduction in visibility because of the dense fog rolling in. It is down to a half a mile for downtown. You're also seeing less than that for Carlsbad and it's going to be down to a quarter of a mile or less at times and that's going to be all the way until tomorrow morning. So a dense marine layer, dense fog, shallow marine layer has moved in down to two miles currently for Imperial Beach, the same for Oceanside, and it's going to stretch about 10 miles inland. For your highs tomorrow, still holding on to warmer than usual temperatures as we have offshore winds picking up by the afternoon hours right along the foothills, so west of the mountains back into those 80s. And temperatures are going to take a slip by tomorrow because we will have that marine layer moving in right along the coast, so getting away from the 70s, going back into those 60s, but 70 degrees looks to be the high tomorrow for downtown. Taking a look at your surf forecast, so we're going to have the surf up to about three feet through tomorrow and a low risk of rip currents at our local beach. Beaches. But what you need to cl uh, keep a close eye on is the high tide. That's going to be at 551 for tomorrow at 5.8 feet. Well, it's actually going to be higher over the next few days, and that's going to start on Friday, taking us all the way into Sunday. And that's because we will have that extra pull in our morning high tides because of the approaching new moon. So that's going to lead to minor tidal flooding, especially for low lying areas and more of those uh, prone uh, beaches that are prone to getting the flooding concerns. And that's the Cardiff State Beach as well as Imperial Beach. And that's because the morning high tides are going to be above six feet. Taking a look at our eight day microclimate forecast, you have 70s going strong for the next couple days for the coast, 80 sticking around the inland valleys. We take a dip because of an area of low pressure moving in with those temperatures. That's going to be by Thursday. And then you're noticing the second half of the weekend. Yeah, we're going to warm up yet again back into those 80s. 70s going strong for the mountains. 80s will go strong for the desert until 79 degrees by Tuesday of next week.